Hey guys, and welcome back to Glitch Metal Arms. Now, oh, Metal Arms Glitch in the System, rather. Now, here we go. General Corrosive himself. And, well, this mission's kind of a dick buffer if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, they basically dump you straight out here with General Corrosive, who does have a rather annoying one-hit kill, by the way. Uh, and all of these boxes. So, uh, one thing we must note about Mr. General Corrosive. We cannot hurt him with our weapons. Because that would be way too fucking easy now, wouldn't it? And it's also quite annoying when you try to boost up and... Wow. <laughs> you miss the actual um, thing that you're aiming for. Anyway, so what do we have to do now to defeat this boss? We actually have to collect four. Yes, right. Four chips. And then we have to go up there and take control of him. But what the game doesn't tell you is hidden over here in the corner of the map, if you do a jumping puzzle, there is our friend Pockets, and he will sell you one of the chips. So young lad Titan here spent many a day, um, in fact, I got stuck on this bit for ages if I remember correctly uh, in fact I think I might actually have ended up looking this up at no I wasn't in school in college would I have been in college 2003 yes I would have been in college actually when I was playing this um, and we actually ended up looking this up and yeah hidden over here we have to jump up into this hidden corner and you have to buy the fourth chip oh god and if that happens it's basically over uh that should have been a one hit kill not sure why it wasn't <laughs> yeah you need 150 washes here i don't know what would happen if you actually got to this part of the level and or part of the game I should say and you didn't have enough washers I don't know what you'd do now as I said you need four chips to do this to go in here and there's our friend yeah four chips three of which you can find which that in itself is kind of a challenge which we'll get to in a minute but having the the actual first or last depending on how you're going to do it chip hidden ah he's destroyed the bridge thank you you absolute douchebag yeah he can destroy the bridge by the way and if that happens I'm pretty sure you're fucked <sighs> yeah this this boss is not great it's one of those occasions where it's a pretty straightforward, easy-ish boss, if you know what you're doing. But, you know. Right, okay. There we go. Hey, dudes. They're literally hidden here. Like, you would have no idea. Hey, guys. And now, what do I want? I want the chip. There we go, 150. Cheers, boss. You're kind of fleecing me at the last moment here. I guess we'll just buy everything. I guess there's no point in not. Look at the way he laughs to himself. Like, he knows we're ripping him off. Or, should I say, he knows that they're ripping us off. Okay, we can just keep buying this stuff. Even though we already have as much as we can carry. You see? Okay, so where are the other chips, I hear you ask? Well, they're in these blue containers down here. And this is the next challenge of this game. Finding all of these blue chips. Because if you thought they were in different containers each time, you're kind of right. Ish. I'm pretty sure there's always one in each corner. But, 
actually it might be better off using the spew but it is I have a feeling there is some random element to it uh, I'm not 100% sure though now you also you can spend all of your time doing this and find what you need only to get instantly killed by him because he's a dick buffer like that not a very nice gentleman to be honest but then what did you expect from general corrosive cheers buddy all right nothing there uh, okay there should be another one here somewhere I hope oh dear a really unfortunate situation now. Yeah, and he's going to continuously pelt you uh, with missiles that can kill you really quickly. Because, you know, why wouldn't he? He is an absolute dick buffer. Ah, oh, there's another one of those upgrades. We need that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Pretty un uh, anticlimactic. Ah, there's a chip. Yes, so there is some random bullshit with it. It was not there when I playtested this. Okay. Come on. Run. Run. Cool. Okay, now let's maybe get the rocket launcher out. See if we can open some of these bad boys up. And our power-ups run out, which is really not good, but there is another one there, so... Oh, there's the other chip. Okay. So, we have everything we need. Now, we just want to get this power up. There we go. Run. Run like a motherfucker. Run like you've never run in your life before, Glitch. Okay. Now, I think, yes, we do have all the chips. Now, that seems really easy. And it is when you know what you're doing. Now we can take control of General Corrosive. Bit of an anti-climactic boss fight, huh? So now uh, x -Volt's going a little bit spammy because we're in control. We've got 10 minutes to survive. Uh, and that's actually pretty easy because uh, we're invincible so <laughs> we've just got to destroy all these enemies and uh, that should only take like a minute or so there's a few waves nothing too mad it does feel good to get a little bit of payback and there's also a repair station but yeah we've got this like melee attack as well and I think think we can do a jump attack too yeah we can we can do like a stomp thing um, which is cool you know there's that repair station that we can actually walk into it and like we fit perfectly in it uh, but obviously we don't need repairs because these guys can't actually destroy us but I think it's quite a cool little bit of a uh, detail that he's got his own little recharge docking bay ah these guys they used to be so fearsome and now they are wheat before the scythe lambs before the slaughter eh, eh, eh. lovely now they really can feel the feel <laughs> fear their general now I remember when I got to this bit as a kid and this it just kind of keeps on going uh, and I was sitting here wondering if we actually have uh, some sort of clear objective on what we're supposed to be doing here but no we're just here to cause mayhem and death best kind really best kind of thing to be dealing out mayhem and death give the fucking mill scumbots a taste of their own medicine now, I will say, I'm not a fan, actually, of the weapons that we have. We basically just have, like, a rocket launcher and 
It's a very slow firing rocket launcher that's not very accurate either. Ooh. He hit the boost pad. That's awkward. Now, in that little trench there, you can actually, as you see, destroy this grating. And there are some super atomic health things. Which is cool, but you really don't need them. As long as you know where everything is anyway, because, you know, once you've cracked this level, it's pretty easy. But look how much damage we do. We just absolute madness. And this is the last wave. We start sending the predators after us. Fools. Run, you fools. I suppose they're in space. They've got nowhere to run, have they? Which is a little bit awkward. But that's okay. We have unlimited missiles somehow. You would have thought that he would have had some kind of badass laser cannon or something. But no. Oh, I wonder if we can punch one of these things. Probably? Yes, we can. That actually feels pretty good. Come here. I don't know if that actually damages their limbs. It's kind of hard to... Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That does actually break them pretty, pretty thoroughly. But rockets, liberal amounts of rockets, because rockets make the world go round, and they make the space station go down. So that's what we're going to use. Lovely. Pretty sure this is the last one now. I think. Okay, so now we can use the old kill switch for the millbot scum by using this terminal over here. We can't actually use this terminal until we destroy everything because it just says computer is not active. Uh, but yeah, interesting final boss, really. Yeah, strange. It's kind of, you know. Very anticlimactic end to the game. Just switch off all the robots. Although, this is pretty wicked to watch this blow up. Yeah, that's pretty satisfying. Mill Space Station, General Corrosive, level complete. Hey, we didn't do too badly there. Yeah, you didn't think the game would do you dirty like that, did ya? Yes. I was actually quite surprised when I first played this. Yeah, that would have been pretty sucky. But no, we do get our one-on-one -on -one with uh, Corrosive. He is a little bit worse for wear now. Final battle. I like the way we've landed, like right next to Corrosive's corpse. Or so we thought. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey.
Yeah, he's pretty angry. Now, now we fight to the death. Uh, he's actually still pretty tough. And he can still kill us as far as I can remember with a one hit kill if he gets close enough to us. So we're going to endeavor to not let that happen. He's does have trouble navigating this area though. And we've got to shoot him in the head I believe. But he will start taking more and more damage as we go. Rockets for the win. Yeah, he gets stuck here. This is really weird. He got stuck here when I was playtesting this bit as well. I thought that was really strange. He will spawn enemies, but honestly, he doesn't do that that often. So, you know. It's not too bad. Come on, reload, reload, reload. There we go. Yep. Now we've blown his arm off. Or his second arm off completely. Alright, let's go get some health. Because we're not overly healthy. Luckily, health is literally everywhere. There's also... There are some uh, chips dotted around as well. But to be honest, like, who gives a fuck? They, they don't do anything. Um, we've got some cleaners. I don't know, actually. If... Where is he? Oh, there he is. I don't know if... Um... Oh, dear. Yeah, that hurt him. If those EMP charges actually do anything against him, I'm not 100% sure. But as we start doing damage to him, he does get faster. So bear that in mind. Ooh, he's not sounding so happy now, though. Wouldn't say no. Ooh. Yeah, sure. Wouldn't say no to a little bit more ammo. So where are we shooting him now? Wow, something just blew up. Let's just try and get some of these shots in him. Oh, there's two more cleaners there. Might grab those because... They seem to do a decent amount against him. I guess. Come on. Why did we not... Did he not pick those cleaners up? Glitch, you are a dull lad. Really are. EMPs. Uh, I guess we could try the EMPs on him. I suppose. Doesn't appear to do too much, mind, as predicted. Unless we've just got to hit him, right? Come on, dude. Oh, now he's really screwed up. Looks like that rocket comes from his, like, groin area, which doesn't bear thinking about. Right, let's go. Don't know if he can do a one-hit insta-kill on us. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure he actually can. But that's fine. Very hard to aim at him when you have this power-up. I think... Oh, God. We're stuck on stuff. We're stuck on stuff. Yeah, not good. Don't want to be stuck on stuff. Especially as our speed power-up runs out. Okay, how are we doing? Oof. How are we doing? No, he's still cool. He's still got a solid amount of health left. Which ain't great for us, to be honest. Oh, he's lost his second arm now. Yeah, he can still tread on us. I thought he could. Okay. So, I'm not sure, also, the best place to hit him, to be honest. I'm guessing... Yeah. Yeah, he's... <laughs> yeah. He's, he's just going to keep charging into our faces. Okay. 
Unless, actually... Right, okay. So that's how it works. I think... We just straight up attack the different parts of his body that we can destroy. Although we can't seem to do his... Yeah. We can hit his face. Which doesn't do an awful lot more than just make him angry. Unfortunately. So let's just use this to grab up some more health. So he's not the easiest boss in the world. But there's a chip there as well. But he's certainly not the hardest either. And we've got a recruiter grenade here. Hey, lovely. So we probably could, if that actually worked properly. Right, okay. Nope. Going badly. Going badly. <laughs> Going badly. Yeah, we probably could have taken over a few of his dudes, but it doesn't seem to work super well, sadly. So it looks like hitting him in the kind of center chest area is doing the most damage, I think. Yeah. Definitely don't want these... Oh, wow, he's actually created a few of these, isn't he? No ammo. <laughs> yeah, gee. Now, one problem is as well, as you can see, as I'm running around, I am running into everything. Which is pretty frustrating. Hey, a chip. Oh, we've just taken out his leg. Nice. We had a really bad position here. Really bad position. And I would say we're probably, yep, about to die. Oh boy. Yeah, this guy. This guy. I think he can actually destroy every piece of uh, shrapnel and debris on the map as well. Which is definitely worth mentioning. Um, let's try the cleaners. Can't tell if they're actually hitting. To be honest. Couldn't tell if they actually hit anything. Okay. Oof. Sketchy. So what else do we have? Oh, we got these. I mean, I guess we can throw these at him. I'm not convinced these actually do much. Mind. Recruiter grenades. These might... Might have a better chance of using these grenades now. Hey, we got two on our side. Sweet. I'll take that. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's more like it. Oh, look, we can hit him in his, like... I don't know what the hell that would be. His backpack. Energy pack, I suppose. Oh, that's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Yeah, look at that. There's actually a, a chip in that bit of land. Or right on that mountain top over there, which is kind of interesting. Not sure how you'd get that. Uh, how are we doing now? He's really suffering fighting these guys. He's really suffering with these guys. Which is fine with me. Okay, as long as they can kind of keep him busy to a point. How much... How much health has he got? Doesn't look like he has a huge amount left. Uh, right, let's charge for this power up over here. Uh oh. Nope. Not today, fuckface. Not again. Not like this. Oh no, he's destroyed all of our friends. 
Oh, that sucks. Well, we've just destroyed his leg. Hopefully, that somehow evens all the pain. Somehow. Now, interestingly, actually, when he only has one leg, that is when he's in his fastest mode. You can see just how freaking quick he is now. Which is kind of odd, but don't question it, I guess. Alright, shotgun. But I think the trouble is, as we're backing up to shoot him, we are literally running into every little bit of uh, background possible that we can get stuck on. Which is frustrating. Need some health. Health is over this way. <laughs> it is quite funny the way he just like hops and bounces along. Yeah, kind of a fan of that. Can't tell if these are actually hitting him. Or if they're sticking in or not. Not sure. I think they are? I'm going to try and aim for his head, but as you can imagine... Oh, he's stuck. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, if he's stuck, then we're going to break out the rockets. Did we get him? Yeah, we got him. We got lucky that he actually got stuck. Get fucked, General Corrosive. Oh, man. That got pretty intense there. It really did. And now that is the actual end of the game. Alright. A lot of happy droids. Well, unfortunately, Exavolt, you are, because Blizzard kind of suck balls and have not made another Metal Arms game. Big shame, actually. So, does this game still hold up? Well, I would say, on the whole, it does. Uh, it does get repetitive. Uh, it hasn't bothered me too much because obviously I only uh, do all of my recordings on one day and then I don't actually repeat those games or play any more of those games for a week. So it didn't really get repetitive for me but I would say this game is probably too long. Um, and they could have mixed up the gameplay a little bit. I mean they did try to by throwing in some turret sections and... They did throw in some uh, vehicle sections as well. Uh, there's a good mix of everything. I think you get all of the weapons a little bit too early. For, uh, I mean, there's 42 missions in this game, which is a lot. Uh, the the secret pickups, the secret chips, could have been a little bit more interesting. But on the whole, for when this game released, and you know that was 20 years ago now, pretty much. I think it does hold up. It's it's kind of a difficult game to recommend these days because you know that Ratchet and Clank style gameplay it's been done a lot and it has been done significantly better than this game actually did it. There's also some um, pretty devious levels, you know, especially uh, like the last level. Uh, or the level before that, I should say, where you have to know that you've got some droids there to actually go and buy the final chip to take control of the robot. You also don't really get that much story and background in this game either, but that's not really this game's fault. 
I would say that was because they planned a trilogy and they only got to make the first one. It would have been really nice to see how the series evolved. I think we probably would have ended up with another um, contender to Ratchet and Clank, you know. But sadly, it just it wasn't to be. Um, I have played this through on the GameCube version and yeah it looks pretty nice it runs okay i mean it's supposed to be a 60 fps game and <laughs> well they they tried i guess um on the three on the um, xbox it actually runs quite nicely there still are frame drops but the game looks gorgeous however the xbox does have a hell of a lot of screen tear to balance it out uh, great voice cast. There's a huge all-star voice cast in this, which is interesting as well. They really did go all out. Now, Swinging Apes, from what I can remember, they made the Xbox version, the PlayStation 2 version and the GameCube version were outsourced to other developers, but they did a reasonably good job. Apart from the PlayStation 2 version, apparently uh, I've heard that that version, and I've, I've, I've looked at comparisons, that version's just trash. Um, I mean, if it's the only way you can play the game, then fair enough. But it is a humongous downgrade over the GameCube version and the Xbox version, unfortunately. Because this is one of those rare games where the Xbox was the lead platform. And they really did put all of that extra um, power that the Xbox had into this. Now, interestingly enough, this game actually runs in 720p on the xbox as well <laughs> so you know double the resolution of the playstation 2 and gamecube so yeah interesting stuff how they actually pushed that machine back then but anyway that is metal arms glitch in the system would i recommend it <sighs> i would if you if you like um that old school ratchet and clank gameplay and you like to see where the, the you know that genre kind of started in a sense i mean there were games like this uh, you know like ratchet and clank before obviously but um yeah it's an interesting game in that kind of genre i suppose it hasn't held up anywhere near as well as those other games have and be prepared for some brutal difficulty spikes that just come out of nowhere uh, and it's a long game as well. You're, yeah, this isn't a, a, a six, a five, six hour game. No, the, you, you'll need a good few days to bust through this one of solid playing. But, you know, I would say it still holds up for me, but I'm pretty sure quite a lot of that is nostalgia talking. Um, I don't think I would play it again. Well, I mean, I probably will do in about like 10, 15 years time. Um, but there are a couple of games that I've played recently, uh, retro games, you know, from my childhood, that I've enjoyed playing and as soon as I've finished them, I've kind of thought, yeah, I might throw that on on a different difficulty or try and unlock, unlock some other stuff and shit like that. But with this game, I've kind of come to the end of it. I've enjoyed it. It's been fun. But I'm done with it now. So anyway, guys, that's just my thoughts on this one. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time. Thank you.